fictionally speaking, you might not be new to the idea of sending nukes to space. But researchers have worked out a way to make this realistically possible. Now, believe it or not, scientists at Lawrence Livermore National Laboratory have figured out a way to simulate asteroid defense using nukes, which they are calling nuclear ablation. Now, this comes after NASA launched its DART mission last year, the first ever mission dedicated to changing an asteroid's motion in space. But how will nuking an asteroid even work? And why is this method better than NASA's DART? Watch till the end of this video to find out. The Planetary Defense System was launched back in 2016 within NASA to help with identifying hazardous asteroids and comets. Since then, many studies have been published on how asteroids can be destroyed. Last year, NASA's DART mission had a major breakthrough when it successfully redirected an asteroid named Dimorphosis Orbit. Basically, nuclear devices are capable of producing more energy mass as compared to any other human technology. A nuclear way to destroy an asteroid has you two options. Number one is keeping the asteroid intact but giving it a powerful push so that the direction of the asteroid deflects. And number two is to disrupt the asteroid and break it up into small samples. So through the technology of nuclear ablations, scientists plan on developing an X-ray energy deposition model. This will deliver its energy in the form of X-rays. And now, if a nuclear explosion were to strike an asteroid, then it would vaporize the material and wash over the asteroid. But while launching the nuclear device, the scientists made a rookie said, we have to be very careful that this method doesn't cause any collateral damage. Because of course, they can't have a situation where shards of asteroid end up coming towards Earth. Now you might be wondering if nuking could potentially risk our planet, why opt for this method over NASA start? On paper, nuking an asteroid has more advantages, mainly due to the amount of energy that it releases. Another reason being, space launches must always minimize mass. A nuclear warhead could deliver a powerful strike as compared to NASA's dart. So the next time you're sitting down and watching sci-fi movies or series, I see a suit of armor. Know that these could serve as a potential inspiration for future inventions.